Hello, anybody who is on, or most likely this is more for people watching back. Um, I just needed to come on real quick. Actually, I need to fix. Sorry, I see myself uh, wiggling here. Whoops, I'm trying to make this smaller so I can well, fix. All right, it's not going to let me. Oh, Miss Jamie, maybe it's just you and me and coffee, which is great. Um, I feel like I am doing my autofocus thing, and I wanted to fix. Oh, here we go. Configure video. I want to fix this autofocus before it bon drives me bonkers. Okay. And okay. There we go. Heather, there we go. Got a couple people. Um, so I am just for, for people stumbling on this who are just interested in tarot and things like that. I apologize. Um, I do have a link in the description of just my personal play along play around uh, YouTube channel. If you like gaming videos, there's a few of us on here. That's where they're going to go from here on out. But um. I had to, I wanted to do uh, this last one here so I can inform some of our, our tarot people who like to do the gaming things. <laughs> um, how is everybody doing? I have coffee. It's too hot to drink and I really wish that it would get unhot so I could take a drink. Um, how are you surviving the holidays? Hello, Pamela. So basically, uh, um, Sunday, I'm going to wipe my Animal Crossing Island. So before I did that, I just kind of wanted to do a, this is where I'm at. And this is where I'm going for, um, for going into 2023 with games. And again, my uh, personal just channel, just my muck around channel, I'm going to put art art reviews and gaming videos and all that stuff to try to not have it, you know, impinge upon the serious nature of tarot. Now, I do think there's great crossover between all of them, but I don't, I, I often don't do game streaming videos because um, I don't want it to, to take over the, the channel. So I'm just going to do all that on my personal channel <laughs> um, and kind of try to separate those things out a little bit. Um, although I think it's amazing therapy. Um, Pamela says, I'm curious about the Dreamlight Valley, but do I need some kind of player in order to play it? Hmm. What, what do you usually game on? You either need a, this is a switch. So I'm going to show it to you on the switch. You can also play it on a, a PC through, through Steam. S-T-E-A-M is a, um, a computer gaming platform that you can you can purchase it and download it from Steam. Um, wake it up. Um, so so Switch, Steam. I, I don't know all of the other ones. I think that that Dreamlight Valley is on all of the game systems. Um, I think you can do it on Xbox, PlayStation, computer, and Switch. Not iPad at the moment. So um, we'll take a look. Um, we'll take a look at that one first. Because I'll be obviously changing up. I'm going to do this one so I can do fresh games and not mess with my personal games. But right now, we'll go into my personal one. So again, this is this one is on. Okay, so you've yeah, they are not on the um, Disney Dreamlight. It's not on your iPhone or app. It doesn't mean that they won't. It is still in beta. Um, so it doesn't mean that they never will, but they put it out on all the other platforms. So um, I'm not sure that they'll put it on that. If you like handheld games, then Switch might be a thing to take a look at because you can either do it on the dock, which is where I am right now with the little handhelds put on here, or you can just hold it as, as if you were holding your phone. So it's a pretty good... I don't know, Jamie, did you play, were you gaming before you got a Switch? I feel like it's a pretty good um, system for newbie gamers. Is that a nice way to say that? <laughs> um, hopefully that's a nice way to say that. 
Did you, yeah, and I feel like Jamie was able to figure it out. And I know my friend Deirdre, she also, I think, was not what I would call a gamer. And she got a, a Switch. You can get a Switch Lite, which is just playing handheld. It's cheaper. Um, and then you can get the full Switch, which hooks it, you know, lets you hook it to your TV. Which I have to say, if you have eye, eyesight issues, it's nice to be able to do. I do like to play on both. Uh, I mostly play on my TV, though. Um, I'm glad you're not offended, Miss Pamela. Um, I just think it's a, it's a easy, uh, and all the ones I'm going to show you right now are on the switch. Cause that's obviously the system I'm playing. I also have Disney Dreamlight on my computer, um, because I do like some aspects of it on the computer. Okay. Now there's going to be junk everywhere because, and it's going to rain, of course, so I first need to run in. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough, like real quick, although I already did it with Thanksgiving, but I want to do it before I take down Christmas decorations. I'll show you how it looks at night because you can change um, the light now, which is very nice if, like me, you often play at night because I do try to not get on. I get on first thing in the morning to check what's in Scrooge's store. And then I get in on, I try to wait until evening because otherwise you can get, you know, distracted from, let's take a look at my cute outfit. Look at how Disney mom I look. Um, my store is going to look barren because I purchased all of the clothes. <laughs> so it's just seeing if there's any new furniture. Um, Disney Dreamlight is in beta, which means they're still working on it. They're still processing, but you have to pay for the ability to use it. See, I already have this. I already have that. I have all those things. I don't think I have this. What is this? Um, I don't think I have that. Let's take a look first. I'm not going to waste my gold, Mr. McDuck. Um, I have to, I've been playing it on the computer so much that now I have to think about the, I don't know, let me do that. Let me do this. I won't, um, I have to think about how to do it on the Switch because I've mostly been playing it on the computer. So let me go down to my, I can't see it because it's behind my head, but we'll just close. Come on, come on. There we go. Do I have, these are my Mickey things. Nope, that's a different coffee table. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. But this is the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is just see if I, because I've done, again, all my characters are all the way up till 10. I already have that. I already have that. I already have that. Ah, I do not have that uh, menorah rug for holiday collection. Buy it. Um, okay, so let's just do a quick, I'm just going to do a really quick run through. And then I want to show you some other games that I am, I'm going to, uh, and I want to show you where my Animal Crossing Island is at because it is going to get wiped. I am, I will admit that I am cheating a little bit. Um, my son-in-law, I call him my bonus son because son-in-law sounds very legalistic and he is a bonus son to me. He's fabulous. But he, he and I went in on getting my daughter Katie a switch for Christmas. Please ignore all the sticks on the ground. I can't, I don't know what to tell you. I have not been on yet this morning. Okay. So here is from the beach to the valley. Let's do a map. How do we do a map on this? There we go. Uh, and zoom out. So we're right here at the peaceful map. I have everything opened. Everything's upgraded. All the people are up all the way. I've been playing every day since it came out. So a long time. But I have taken the peaceful meadow. And that is like my area and my farming area. Um, the plaza has Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Goofy um, houses there. Um, 
Force of Valor, I'm going to start deck. I'm going to start decorating more now because I've gotten everything up there. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on going into January is starting to uh, decorate some of these areas. I want to make this Merlin's area and like a magical area. I did put a um, mini theme park up here, which I'll show you. And um, the beach isn't too, too decorated other than Moana's house. So. That's kind of where it's stands. There goes, there goes Mother Gothel. She's one of my absolute favorites. So I have loved the Christmas stuff. Um, the Halloween stuff was amazing. And I really loved the Christmas stuff. You will have, if you're playing this, you do have until like January 21st to finish the whole Christmas path and get all this stuff. So that's nice. But to the right is what I consider my personal space. I know it's messy with sticks, but ignore the sticks. A little painting hangout area. A little pool area. Let's grab this chest over here. I'm, I'm going to have to move something to get to it. They tucked it away where I can't get it. Uh, a little ancestor uh, space over here. That's going to get expanded in into the forest um, coming forward. Cute little tent. And there's a chest I can grab. Again, every the doubt. What I will say. So I have played extensively Animal Crossing. And Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I started another one that's similar, which I'll show you in a second. Um, what I find stressful about Disney Dreamlight Valley is as soon as you pick all the stuff up off the ground, literally, if you go into another zone and come back, there's more sticks on the ground. Look at how cute that is. Like, it's a little tent fort with books in it. I just love that. Um, this is my house. We're going to get where we can change the colors of our house in the next update. I'm very excited about that. Obviously, here's my Christmas decoration. We'll come back and look at my house in a second. But over here is all farming. Uh, again, I have 200 uh, and I farm pumpkins. You start with carrots and farmed carrots. You go to the next highest thing and farm that until you open the next zone. Um, the first thing you should spend your money on is updating Goofy stall so that um, you can get the, the highest sell back item and farm that for gold. But once you get everything opened up, it's pumpkins are where it's at. Let me grab what's in Kristoff's cart. They changed that with the last path too. So you should always be checking that in the morning and getting the unique kind of items so you don't have to do as much digging for them. Um, my hardwood, yes. Softwood, no. Sure, I don't need any sand. Okay. Um so yeah, and then I what I did is I've gone into uh, and there's tons of how tos on this which I'll do on my other channel, but um, I've just taken all of the fruit bearing bushes and trees and put them in one place so that I can run around and harvest them really easily. So the meadow is my area and my garden area. The plaza has Scrooge's house, the Mickey and Company houses. Um, I can't see, I cannot resist picking this stuff up. But what I don't like, I love Disney Dream Life. It's my absolute favorite. But what I wish that it did was give you an option to not have new things spawn as fast. Because I find it stressful to clean everything up and then have it be messy again. It drives me bonkers. But it's also very useful at the beginning when you're trying to get all those things. So I get it. I just wish there was a way to tone it down. Anyways, I have this little gazebo that I've been decorating as a holiday. This, obviously, it was um, Thanksgiving, and now it is Christmified. <laughs> um, a little town square. Um, Remy's house and restaurant and Scrooge's um, store over there. And then again, this is sort of like a little area with Mickey and Goofy and Minnie. They also fixed it. So that Spirit Fair is where I'm going to start in January to Jessica. They fix it so that, look, your your well changes as you progress. And now I've got a little tree growing. That Mine was stuck where it wasn't doing that. And so that was pretty cool. There's, there's Buzz. Um, okay, let me go up here real quick. 
So if you go to the left, this um, is the sunlight plaza, and here's where the daily thorns. The thorns only come in one area each day. I don't mind those because once you clear them, they're gone for the day. Um, I decided to make like a little, because remember, Miss Jamie, I got uh, from, was it Woody? Yeah, Woody's house is this carousel. Now, when you first got it, I was so disappointed because it was really ugly uh, or was really worn down. And once you go all the way through, it does perk up to looking quite adorable. Miss Jamie was laughing at me because I was like horrified that they plunked me with this giant ugly thing but it does perk up so I ended up making um this has the up balloon in it some little arcade things back there I put Wally's um because it just doesn't really go anywhere else um Stitch's little play area for kids I put two of these rockets like a play area this is um on a story time uh <laughs> area over here and then a little um you know, food court area. So I just made like a, in a pool over here. So I just made like uh, in a restroom, you know, you got to have those restrooms there um, to, <laughs> for the masses. So I've just made this into like a little um, theme park area and I'm going to incorporate Scar's landscape as well. I know they're curious as to what I'm up to. Um. So that's all I've done up here. I haven't decorated anything else. Again, I've really been focused. What I like, so okay, let me try to be helpful. What I love about Disney Dreamlight Valley is that it has everything that I love about Animal Crossing. Easier, um, easier decorating of the world. And the questing is kind of like, play, if you like an RPG game, it has that sort of questing element that is put into it as well. So I really like that it's a combination of sort of quest lines. I know there's a beginning quest line in Animal Crossing, but it's, it's really not the same. And your relationships with the your villagers are much more, you know, you're growing it, you're leveling them up, they're helping you with things. It's definitely much more um, uh, interactive with your villagers, which is something that I really like about Disney Dreamlight. Um, so that it, that's it kind of combines if you like doing quests and things like that, but you also like decorating and you like getting your villagers and collecting. It's just kind of the best of all the worlds. I really do think that the creators took uh, notice of what people complained about in, in Animal Crossing and addressed those things in their own unique way. It's not the same game, so I'm really not trying to make it seem like it's just Animal Crossing with Disney, but it is very similar. I do think that people who like Animal Crossing will probably like uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley, unless you just hate Disney, um, which I know there's a lot of people who do. I can't, I don't know, I can understand it, but I don't. Um, <laughs> this is Scar's area. I'm going to try to make into like a dinosaur exhibit for the theme park here eventually. Up here, I have done nothing much except for decorate. This is the Forgotten Lands. I've decorated around this. We're kind of assuming that this might be like the fairy godmother's house that she is eventually going to come. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, this is a really hard land for me, for my eyesight to see. And I found a great tip for right now. Once I go to decorate it, I'll change it up. But um, I have just taken all of the trees out except for plucked like five or six trees right here in this in this kind of flat area. And that way, because these are important woods to get and I could not see them with my poor eyesight and the darkness and the high purple grass. I really had a hard time with this. So I just put them all over here. And so all of the wood just spawns around these five trees. Um, and then again, I will put trees back in as I decorate. Um, but this is just a tangle. Normally, this is a tangle of trees, of different kinds of trees. And it's really hard to navigate. So if you're having the same issue, I would do this until you decide how you want to decorate. 
Heather says, um, have I played Yonder? I have not, but I have heard about it. And I feel like I have it on my wish list, but I don't know. But I have heard about it. That it would that it's good. Like it shows up in the kind of cozy gaming kind of non-stressful. I play a lot of stressful games. Like I I play World of Warcraft, um, which can be very stressful, fun, stressful, but fighting type games. Up until Animal Crossing, I mostly played fighting style games. Uh, I was I'm always the healer, but it's always like run around and like under great stress. Um, fight your way through things and heal people through devastating losses. That's generally the kind of gamer I have been my entire adult life. I have played like Civilization growing up. Uh, when I was, my first computer games would have been like um, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, the very first Zelda. I played all the Zeldas up until Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I actually find to be very stressful. I bought the Switch to play Z Breath of the Wild, but I actually find it not relaxing. Um, but I also got my Switch in the midst of the pandemic, like half of the world and the last thing that i was looking for is something that was going to stress me out because i was getting um frostbite if i was too long in a cold area <laughs> so i'm sorry see i see i started gathering because i hate this stuff on the ground okay let's go back to showing you um, we're almost done and then we'll switch to a couple other games um i had a switch for a long time and then i sold it to my niece and i gave them my account that had i had bought a bunch of games that would be good for my nephews to play so we could play over there so i for christmas they you know purchased it cheaper off of me and i gave them all the games that were on it so i've had to but then a week later i was like i should not have done that like i missed it so much so i turned around and rebought it and so I don't, I have one of the games that I have to repurchase is Spirit Fair because I, I started that, but I wanted to do a playthrough. Heather, have you seen the, I'll show you in a second. I just got, they had a big Christmas sale, of course. So my daughter and I made sure um, to go through all of it and like see what we could get. Okay. So this is the Forest of Valor. There's not really anything up here. I've cleared it out a little bit as well. I have uh, Buzz's camper, which I adore and I've put some things around it, but that's really, really all I've done. Um, this I really want to get to decorating and I want to put Merlin over there in this little space and kind of build up like a magical space over here. So that's really, um, I haven't done anything up here. I've, I've really focused on getting everything leveled up and now I'm going to head into 2023 decorating more. This is the Frozen Lands. All I've done is move uh, Anna and Kristoff's house up here and i need to and put some more of these willow trees but i'm excited to decorate when i move the christmas stuff i may while it's still winter time um, move all the christmas stuff up here and make a winter wonderland so i might um i might do that and then let's go to the last two zones um it's a non-violent but adventure world building. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at it. Oh, wait, I was saying something and I got sidetracked. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't do these yesterday. Um, it's been a very busy month for me work-wise because obviously it's year ahead and wheel of the years. I have one big more push left today. Not that I won't have stragglers after that, but I have one more like big reading day to get everybody's years ordered earlier um done before for today but i thought okay i need to pop on here and just wake up get into the day and run through this stuff so i have it um all set to go because uh, i am gonna stream on my other one on sunday like the start of all these different things. So I wanted to at least have a run through. I have Eric and uh, Ariel over here. I just haven't really decorated. Um, I love Belle's um, picnic area right here. And I have Stitch, who I love the inside of Stitch's house. Like if I picked a house to live in besides my own in here, I would do Stitch's, which is right here. I won't go in it because I don't want to give it away. Not everybody has unlocked it and don't like it being given away. So 
Um, and then this is the swamp, uh, the Glade of Trust, where Mother Gothel's house is, which I love this big willow tree. Um, again, I haven't, I've tucked Merlin in here, but he's going up in the Forest of Valor. So I really haven't, again, started to deck. I've done major decorating on the plaza and a kind of around my house. But other than that, I haven't, and then that that little uh, theme park, but that's just been the start of outdoor decorating. So I'm going to pop in here real quick. I'm not going to go in all the rooms because I already did that just recently, but I will show you my Christmas room. Um, oh, you want to see it? I'll run in for you and just say, look away. If you want to see it, Jamie, I will just give a spoiler alert and open it for you. Some people hate the spoiler. My daughter does not like spoilers. Here's my Christmas with all my Christmas stuff, except for I need to change it up a little bit so I can add that menorah rug in so that everything fits. But this is um, the common area and I've just been decorating it for the holidays. So I do really love it. And then I'll just quickly state what I've done is the second floor is my house my apartment up here so i have my i don't know if jamie if you've seen this yet or not but this is my my workstation making my herbals and tinctures and my desk and fireplace and christmas tree of course and then this is my i got this library uh thing and put them all around to make a library i also love this little storybook prop up from stitch it's the ugly duckling i love it so I just made a little library over here, which I adore. And then my favorite room of the house. I hope they make it updated so we can change the ugly doors. And this is one of my favorite rooms. This has mostly Ratatouille and Wally and tangled some mixed and tangled but it's basically all all my favorite things that go in this kitchen this is from up this is fireplace is from up but i adore my kitchen it makes me super super happy it's cozy and adorable and i love it um okay so this floor oops no 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 ah don't turn around because they you will exit okay Let's walk this way. So yeah, the second floor is basically my apartment. And then I'm not going to show them all, but what I've done is each floor, well, here I can show you here. So each floor has a themed, um, so there's Tangled, C Cinderella, Ariel. The fourth floor has Elsa, Moana, and Anna, Beauty, Lion King, Gaston, Wally, Monsters Incorporated, Toy Story. Uh, Mickey and Company, Wreck-It Ralph and Minnie, um, Halloween, Autumn, and Christmas I have here. And then I ended up having to add another floor. Eventually, I'll put those on the top, but I haven't done the work. Ratatouille, Sword in the Stone, and a swimming pool room, which I actually changed. So I need to edit that. So I just, I like to collect the furniture. I am definitely a con collector, check the boxes, personality type. And so I buy all the furniture. So I have the middle room, which kind of is going to set up as a mix of the three. And then each room has all of the furniture collected from that movie. I just got this uh, sewing machine, which made me very happy. Cinderella is one of my absolute favorites. So everything in here is collection from Cinderella. Some of them like Beauty and the Beast and uh frozen i've had to separate out into two rooms but at the moment um at the moment uh most of them have one room and i just put all of their things into it which i love the look on her face matched your voice <laughs> um so yeah, so this is Tang. I did just finally get Tangled Bed. I, I wasn't actually too thrilled with the Tangled Bed. I had a different bed in there until then. And I don't like the fireplace. This is a Tangled Fireplace. But I love this Mother Gotha one. So I put that one in here to see where you can see it. But um, I do love the Tangled stuff. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But I have a room for each of the movies that I have collected stuff from. Um, and I'll go up to the holiday one because I do love that. Oops. 
Yep, there are area rugs. They are hard to get. Um, there's not as many of them, but there are. So you'll see not a lot of rugs because there aren't a lot of options. So this is just going to be the seasonal. So these are all of my uh, fall and sort of Thanksgiving -y kind of stuff. And then I separated out um, Halloween. These are Halloween stuff that I collected. Obviously, there'll be more probably next year. Um, and then this room over here is going to be Christmas. And I just put up all my favorite windows. <laughs> this is a gallery of windows up here. All right, so let me go back downstairs. And then I'll show you. Yeah, you can see here, neighborhood art, see how there are rugs. These are the holiday rugs. And I did just get um, a menorah rug, which I'll put down, but I'll have to decorate around so it can all go on here before. So there's a section here for rugs. These are only rugs that I don't have on the floor. Like I have other rugs on the floor. This looks like it's a big rug. Let's see, how do you rotate it? And yeah, I'm just going to put it down so we can see it. Uh, if I can get it to squeeze between, I may not be able to fit it. Uh, so close, so close. Okay, let me, oh, oh, I think there's, there we go. <laughs> we got it in. Let's get out. So that one I just got. And I do have like two, uh, I have two types of menorahs. I think they're, are they called different things? I don't want to say wrong. So I need to make an area for that as well. Um, there are two Christmas, other Christmas tree rug. And then this has Mickey space in the middle that I've used as a tree rug, which I really love um, there. And then there was this reindeer kind of wintry themed rug over here. So those are just the rugs for the hol the new holiday rugs. Um but but yeah they're they're I they're I really get excited when I see a rug because there aren't as many yet. Again, it's all in beta. They're adding stuff, you know, every time they have a, a, an update. Okay. So that's my personal update for um <laughs> Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, I do continue, plan on continuing to play it. I will just start doing like decorate with me videos over on my personal channel um, because I really do want to start doing a lot of outer decorating. I'll probably again move all this Christmas stuff up to the Frosted Heights and make like a Christmas wonderland um, and then move on to other things. I will say one thing I do, like at first I thought I was going to miss it. Animal Crossing, which we're going to go to next. Um, you, you have the, the whole Island is a, a, affected by the seasons. And I often would, um, time travel to a different time. Cause I was like, it's gray and gloomy out here. I really don't need it being gray and gloomy in animal crossing. So, but I was kind of wishing that the whole thing would snow in Disney Dreamlight, but I've decided I actually really like it. I did pull down winter trees just to bring the Christmassy vibe, but um, I kind of like having just an area of winter because truthfully in, in the northern part of the United States, by January, I really, January, February, I don't need to come into a game and be stuck in, oh, thank you, Jamie, um, and be stuck in winter as well. So I'm kind of happy happy that they did not do that same thing um, there. Okay, let me go down. If you do not want to see the inside of Stitch's house, then look away. I will say when uh, it's I'm out of there so that you don't get it. If you haven't gotten Stitch yet, um, you don't get spoiled. Okay, going in. I just think it's adorable. I don't know why I like it so much, but it makes me happy. It's tiny, so it's just like a small house. It's so sunny. It's got a nice little, obviously, I would want to put decorations up. He needs to move in a bit. I want these little wash machines so bad. Like, I would live in this little house. He needs a bed, but uh, he probably sleeps on the couch. I just, it's like, it looks like a little house on the beach, You've got your TV, you've got your kitchen, you've got your wash, you've got your books. 
I just think this is, I, it's plop this by a beach and let me live here. That's how I feel about that, even though I would decorate it up more. He probably sleeps under the table, true, uh, or out on the beach. So that you can look back if you didn't want to be spoiled by, it's not like it's fancy though. It's, a lot of the houses are fancier, but I just feel like you would want to live in a house, little house on the beach with it. It's adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, let's see, let me save. I don't think I really did. No, I did. I bought things, so let me make sure I save so I don't lose those things. Um, save. And then, yes, go out. Okay. I know, Miss Jamie, we just put two of them next to each other on the beach or just, you know, have a commune of little beach huts on the beach. Far enough away where we have privacy, but close enough to visit to all the people who want to hang out. <laughs> that will work. Or up in the forest on the edge of a beach. That, that would be the best for me as a forest at the edge of the beach. Okay, so let me go out. So... I'm obsessed with Cozy Grove. We'll get there in a second. Let me switch it up a little bit. Let me go over here. I've had to re-download some things, and so everything is out of whack. Heather, if you have a switch, I think you would love. This is called Strange Horticulture. I'm not going to. I'm going to start a fresh one on my channel, other channel, but... Uh, I haven't I haven't played this very long. These are like things I picked up at the Christmas sale, so I haven't played them. But I love this game. It's super relaxing. The only thing is, is I wish they were real plants. I thought maybe they were real plants, but they're not. They're like um, made up plants, but they did such a good job with like the descriptions and what they do. I just love this if it will, if it decides it's going to open. This is on, I don't know if the sale's still going. There is a sale still going. There were like one sale and then it crossed over into another sale. But this one wasn't very much. I want to say this was $15, not even on sale, but I don't quote me on that. I don't know if I've confused it. Let me see something. I feel like I've confused something because I don't normally have this issue. Let me see if I froze something here. Mm, well, let me try to back out. Oh, yep, I think I froze something. I've kind of switched up, not, not on purpose with the name switch. Let me take it off of here. Oh yeah, I definitely froze something. Okay, so it's working here. All right, so I should have just hit refresh on my uh, streamer thingy. Sorry. Okay. Let me stick that here. And then I go over here. Usually I can tell because my hand is there. There we go. Okay. Um, I probably have to re get my thing back in. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we'll do, we'll just continue it. I know. I just, I love this. I feel like a lot of people who like um, plants and things and working with herbs in, in our community would love this game. So this is still day one. So you have this space and you have, look at this and it's simple, but it's so cute. Like you have this little drawer over here. We'll pull the map over here for right now. You can put that away. I can't see my labels. They're over here. Let me move my head. There's really not never a good place. Oops. There's never a good place to put my head. Let's kind of go in the middle, maybe. Um, no, that's a really bad. There's just no good place for my head. Let's let's stick it up here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll stick it up here for right now. Um there's little tags so that once you figure things out, you can tag them. You've got your little plants that you can pull down into your, to get some information. You have this, you're basically, you've taken over an apothecary for your uncle. And so you have his book. So I've already figured out um, St. John's Poppy, which is not the same as St. John's, John's Wart. But you have like his notes that he's made. 
you have some plants up here. You can go to other places. He left you a couple letters that you can walk to go get other plants and things like that. You can use this exploratory place here to go out and get other herbs. And then what you can do is you click on this little bell here. I've only done this once, so we'll just see. You click on the bell and somebody comes forward with what they need. Something that those witches in the forest stirred up. Uh, they're not letting anyone through. Okay, so this isn't a good one, but I had to take the long way round down through back borrow. Uh, I never did trust that sister here. Okay, so they're upset about the witches. Anyway, I'm here now, and I brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. So he is going to trade me, but I have to figure out what lemon dandy is. And sometimes they're coming to you with a problem and you have to find an herb that is going to help them with their illness. It's, it's really cool. Like I really like this again. I just started it. Do we have lemon dandy? All right. We have lemon dandy from our uncle's book. It's curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with cur a cur with curing afflictions of the heart. Okay, so now I got to move my head again because it's always in the way. You know what? Let me do this real quick. Let me take these tags and stick them over here in this drawer. So if I need, so once I find it, I can put it away. Okay, let's move my head. So um, it's giving us a very loose um, image maybe this right here it's not yellow but let's put it over here oh i'm trying to grab it with my mouse sorry uh i this kind of looks like the top of it so let's kind of pull it over here i don't know if i can just drag it the smell is faintly off-putting but not overpowering okay and then what did our my our uncle say it's curled leaves see those are curled leaves okay so i'm pretty sure I know, I, I know, I really, I'm, I need to see if there's something similar with real plants. So I'm going to try to give it to him. Yes, so it was identified as lemon, lemon dandy. And then I get a plant as a reward. So sometimes they come in, they give you information. Uh, so I don't know what it is. We have to figure out what that is. I'm going to go ahead and take a label on this one right here. I don't know how to do it. Let me think. Um, let's move them. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. It's got, it hooks onto it. Oh, I, oh, okay. It's wanting to, I just messed it up. Nope, I don't, here, let's move this plant. Let me move this. It's right over the R button, so I think it's like confusing things. What is this? Is this a little note right here? Oh, there's a clue. Let's put this over here. We, I'm not. I promise we're not going to stay. Oh, look at we've got some kind of a clue. So we'll just stick that over here. I like how you kind of have this like desk space that you can actually like put things wherever you want on it. I don't know how to do this. There is a way to label this little plant, and I've confused. I, the other ones are letting me. Okay, we're not. Oh. Hey. Oh, I just did it. Shouldn't be this finicky. The other ones are not. There we go. So then uh, I, oh, I wish I had my actual stitch so you can just type it in there. I think there's a way to turn it on to auto do it. But since we don't have that, let's just put in. I'm just going to put in lemon for right now because that's close enough. Um, you can set it to auto label when you put a label up there. We'll just put its name on. I just haven't set it up. <clears throat> um, okay. And you can change the color. Eventually I'll see how I want to label them. So you can see the two that I have labeled. Okay. So I'm not going to stay here, but, and there's this map and you can like, you're getting clues from people. And so then you can, um, you can go out and explore the map and go places and find um, uh, new new places and find new plants and stuff like that. But I I just got this. I haven't played much with it, but I'm I'm thinking I think it's really cool. Um, so there's that. I don't know how to get out of it. 
So I'm definitely going to be playing that this coming year. Go back to the main menu, maybe. I'm not sure. Are you sure you want to go? Okay. So yeah, I this one I thought people would like in our community for sure. Okay, so let me go out and go ahead and cancel that. Um, this arise is amazing. Okay, let's go back to Animal Crossing real quick because that one's going to get wiped. So I, I need to do a quick peek on that one. If it, if it does, I'm going to have to watch for this freezing or not freezing. Although Animal Crossing has got a little bit of a load. You've all seen me play a lot of Animal Crossing. Um, I am cheating this time and I'm taking loads of things over to my daughters. I am. I just want to start fresh in January. Um, I also want, because on my personal channel, I want to do more gaming. And so I do want to do some how to like kind of uh, tips and tricks on starting your own island. And so I need a new island. They don't let you like other games. You can have multiple versions, but obviously Animal Crossing does not let you do that. But I am hauling my house stuff over to my daughter's island and my gold um my bells over to uh, my daughter's island and anything I don't want to lose so that I can go back and get it. But yes, I am starting it fresh again. Time for a fresh island and a fresh excitement over going and seeing what's in the store. Um, so my house is, is disassembled, so we're not going to go in there. Um, I have been happy. I enjoyed this. So what I did, so I've done three, this is my third island right here. I did my very first island and then I wiped my island. Like I literally went through and flattened it. I shoveled the whole thing flat and um, kind of rebuilt it exactly how I wanted it. And then I redid it this way, which is just starting over with nothing. And let's go to that. We'll start over here at the airport so i've done it a couple different ways this time i'm going to wipe it but i am again saving some things that i really like the theme of this island was um sort of like a beach town i grew up in a in a beach town you know that people would come in uh you know, in the summertime and, you know, having that kind of energy. And so I set up on the beach, like a little, here's a little flower stand. Here's a little bakery stand. Here's ice cream. Uh, here's a little game, you know, games on the beach kind of thing. Um, over here is a little village of all the houses of villagers houses. But then back here, let me go ignore those on the ground. I dropped them so I could carry many loads over to my daughter. Um, I have a little festival area because we had a fish festival growing up. So this is like the fish, festi fish festival area um, over here with the outhouses. Um, and so that this area is all sort of the, the part of the island. Scooch, scooch out of the way. You're adorable, but I'm about to send you into the ether. Um, so, yeah. So, that was the theme is sort of um, a little nostalgic. I'll show you some other nostalgia in a second. Um, the, it was a little fishing town. So, I set up this. I know my head is in a really bad place. Let's put it over here. There we go. <laughs> Moving the head around, I put up this little dock with this little fishing boat. Like, it's adorable. I did save my dream address so that I can appreciate it for a while. This is like a little camping area. Let me climb up here. 
little um, mushroom foresty area here. Obviously put in, spent a lot of time breeding these green plants. I need to take some over to Katie so that I can, but my bags are full right now, so that I can uh, start rebreed them again because I, I did a lot of work to get these green plants that have now overtaken since I didn't play for like four months. Um, up here is this sort of uh, an ancestral uh, area. Um, down here is a fay. You can't tell in the winter, but when it's not winter, there's all of these green glowing uh, fluorescent mushrooms on the ground, the sword in the stone, the castle there. Um, and then down here is a little meadow because I like meadows, just let the flowers overtake. But I do have <clears throat> a little church um, my grandmother had Lily of the Valley, so these are Lily Valley, and we had a, a really sweet little Catholic church. I had very good experiences there, and so I made like a little church um, chapel area um, here with the Lily of the Valley and the well. There's a well over here somewhere, um, so it has um, that kind of um, that kind of the little chapel uh, in the village that I grew up in. So that was the theme of this island. And I'll come up here and show you my house. Uh, the theme of this was just little um, nostalgia, uh, beach town, fishing town, little vacation area. Um, and then my house is up here on this little promontory and right next to the water and facing the water. Uh, in the ocean. So that was kind of my theme. And I, for me, this was my most simple island. Um, I didn't do any terraforming, um, maybe just like really mild terraforming, but I did not restructure it. I kept it the way it was for the most part um, and really just went towards focusing on the theme. So my next theme, I'm going to wipe it and start it fresh. And I'm going to do like a four. I've seen somebody do this um, I didn't see their finished results, but I saw somebody do it. But I'm going to have sort of a central place, and then it's going to have the four elements, um, fire in my normal square that I normally do things at. And I'm going to have sections of the four elements and do a, a much more like a witchy in the woods, four elements land um, theme for my next island. So that's my plan for... Because I had a really cool house that every house was like going into a new dimension. Um, I put in a secondary house and did that. So it's going to be more that vibe of a center, like tangled foresty, overgrown forest in the middle where my house is. And then like going into the four elements all around. So there's my plan for my new island. But um, I did want to at least kind of show where, I, you know, this. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this, the simple um, homey. It was very nostalgic to me growing up with Fish Festival and the beach and the, and the great food and the little shops and everybody knows your name um, kind of feel to it. I enjoyed building this. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and I really didn't stress because I didn't do a lot of terraforming or anything like that. Um, so it's been, it was nice. It was a nice island, but we're going to start fresh. Okay. So that's that. Does that, does that make you feel better, Jamie, or worse? <laughs> Do you approve of my, my wiping or? Okay. So that's that. Uh, do not touch. I did not touch. Okay, save complete. So that's Animal Crossing. Um, I also picked up, and I will say right now, Cozy Grove is on sale for $8. Like, come on. $8. Well, if Jamie, if you wait until I re-wipe mine and get to the airport, then you could dump your stuff on mine. And then wipe yours. 
<laughs> That's basically what I'm doing with Katie. I, she started her island and got it to the airport phase. And so then I've taken step over to the side where she's not doing anything right now and dumping everything on the beach out of the way. And then once I wipe mine, I'll go get my stuff and, <laughs> and bring it back. That's some of the stuff I was like, no, I, I don't want to lose all of this. I'm not taking everything because it's impossible. It's, it's, it's a lot of work and it's very time consuming. So I'm just taking the things that I love, like my stuff in my house and like probably like that boat and some some items that I, I don't want to have to wait to try to get possibly get. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I want to let's do this on the new one. It's probably going to be easier. To, no, I should have done that. Let me, let me go back because you can't see what it turns into. So let's I'm going to do a playthrough of this on my other channel. But let's, I'll show you where I'm at right now. This is like an even more relaxing version of Disney Dreamlight Valley and Animal Crossing. But it's less stressful in the fact that you can really only play it for about an hour a day. Um, once you get, after the first time you get everything going. Um, it's about an hour. It's a, and it's super relaxing because once you dig things up, once you pick things up, they don't spawn again until the next day. And it's all about helping these bear ghosts. This is like Spirit Fair. Somebody brought up Spirit Farrier or Fair. Uh, I, Jessica, I think. I, I'm going to start that one. I just started it barely when I then I lost the game. So I have to repurchase that one. It, it wasn't on sale at Christmas. I was watching for it. Um, but this one... Um, is similar to that because you're helping ghosts, but these are ghost bears. Who doesn't want to help a ghost bear? Um, and again, because of the way they they set it up, you really can't binge play it for five hours. Like you can really just get on in the morning and just kind of do your chores. Like I haven't got on this morning yet. Um, and so I'll show you, well, we're not going to do all the stuff because obviously I'm not going to sit on here for an hour. I do have to work. I don't know how long I've been on, but probably too long. Um, let's look. Uh, but I have just been obsessed with this one because I just got it. So I think this is only, and it keeps track of your day, so it tells us what day it is. Um, and you're just slowly discovering the stories of the bears and like what caused them to what happened to them and they have unresolved business and you're kind of help. So it's very similar to spirit fair, but I will, but combined with animal crossing and, um, and what I like about it is that it is very contained. So it's like you get up in the morning or you're getting ready to go to bed at night and you're just spending 30, I would say more like once you get the hang of it, probably more like 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm on day four, um, 30 to 35 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. And then there's really nothing else to do. And it will even say, come back tomorrow. Everything will start to go to sleep and be like, look, you've done what you need to do. So you don't feel like you have to constantly try to do stuff because there's, there's only so much that you can do. That's my little bird. And she, I do, I, ha I think I sold all those. So she wants, she's got that bubble above her head. That's my bird spirit pet. And she um, wants those shish kebabs. So it's an island. Does it, am I covering a map? Let me see. Can't remember if this even has a map. As you're walking. Not really. Um, it's an island and everybody's island is different. Um, every time you start it, it's different. And every day you come, something has changed. So the concept is, is you're a spirit scout. And you have been dropped off on an island um, that is colorless. So when you first come in, everything is color. See how there's no color up here? Um, every day you have to go to the particular ghost of that area and do them a, a, a service. So I'm going to see what this one wants. Can I help you with something? And I can't see because my head. I don't think anything happens up here. Let's stick it up here. <laughs> Get my head out of the way. Uh, I've been of course flipping. It's repetitive. I'm going to make a project out of repairing it. So it wants some loose pages and it puts it over there and it says it needs three scout book pages. I already have those. So it's showing it's already filled. This good. This is good because then you can see what happens. So now I'm going to give them the pages. You would go out and find them if you didn't already have them. 
Um, it's a partial list of all natural counter hexes and a guide to minor gods. And so now he's going to give me another page, I think. And, and again, if you watch these, like you're learning what what happened to them and um, that there was this other spirit person that was trying to help them. It's a really sweet. I, I can't explain this one because you almost have to just do it. So you can see that the little heart went up. And as I help this ghost out for the day now, it's going to, its area is going to stay colored because I helped it. But tomorrow when I come, it will be ghosty again because I've got to help it find out what its story was and what happened to it so it can resolve. But you can see there's things to chop, there's things to dig up, but there's only a certain number of things. And once you're done for the day, you're done. An hour. Oh, do you play this one, um, Jamie? I love this one. Again, right now it is on, um, and you also start to open up and you find more um, ghosts that need help and your island expands and you can set out lamps to start to bring light to the island. It's just really relaxing. It has all the things like crafting and building your house. Like this is your tent that you can upgrade. Um, and so it has like all the things that you can do similar to like Animal Crossing, but it is contained. Um, and again, it has this under the storyline of helping these ghosts out to figure out what happened to them and bring them peace and bring color back to the island. I, it's just really sweet. Um, I like the storybook um, art style to it. And I like that once I'm done collecting everything, nothing else. Um, uh, let me Um, I just text my daughter almost done. She's okay. Oh, no, not her. Um, so yeah, I again, this is on sale for eight bucks. For eight bucks, like, I just think this is, um, it's just really sweet. It's super relaxing. It's there's no stress to it whatsoever. And it's just, and the storyline is really sweet um in what you are trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish so bye miss jamie yeah we're almost done here um so so that's this is um called cozy grove so that is i'm gonna start a new island on again on my other channel for january because like, i'm gonna do some more consisting like st game streaming nana i promise for you all that love tarot i'm not gonna clog up the truth and story with it but it will be over on the other one, which is in the description. If you like gaming, it's just my personal channel. It's nothing fancy. It's just for a place for me to play. But I, I really love this Cozy Grove. I think that if Animal Crossing interests you or Disney Dreamlight interests you, but it seems like it might be overwhelming, that Cozy Grove is a nice, like, small version. Um uh, like a smaller contained version of those types of games. I didn't actually love Stardew Valley. Um, Ori and the Blind Forest is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll do, some, these are ones I'm going to start playing through. Um, this is free. Um, Sky Children of the Light is free right now. I don't know if it's always free, but you might want to grab that if you have a Switch. And some of these you can get on PC games. Um, I'm pretty sure Cozy Grove you can get on the PC as well. So uh, Animal Crossing is a Nintendo game. So you can only get that on, on Nintendo Switch, I think. Yeah, I'm 99.9% sure. Um, Dreamlight Valley you can get on a PC or other gaming system. I don't know about Strange Horticulture. Cozy Grove I'm pretty sure you can get on the PC. So if you have a PC, your best bet is to download Steam, S-T-E-A-M, and see which of the games they have, because you might be able to play them without having a game system at all. So you can check those out. I'll have to do, when I go do an update on my, for like a first update on the other channel, I'll have to, I'll research which ones you can play on the PC versus which ones are just... Ori is the most amazing. This is the newer version, the new version. I haven't played it yet, so I'm going to do some playthroughs, chat some playthroughs over there. Haven Park is, again, a very small, contained, sweet, um, relaxing kind of Animal Crossing um, 
type type one as well. Um, and I did some of these I just down like windbound. This was like two dollars. This was like two dollars. This was a rise looks so sad. You're following uh, this person has died, I believe, or else their loved one has died. And you're following him through all of his memories um, to try to find closure. There's a lot of, of like finding closure uh, for and healing from loss um, games on the Switch. Very, I need to do like a video on that alone. Like the games that are about healing and finding closure because there are quite a few of them, the Spirit Fair, that Crozy Grove, this Arise. Um, there's another one, even Ori as well. Ori starts with loss um, and, and just trying to recover from loss, which is so interesting. Yes, uh, it's okay, um, Gabe. I know this is, this is the last one like this showing up here. Yes, I'm going to do, that's going to go out on January 1st. So it's going to go over all, uh, a run through of the, how I still feel about the decks of 2022 and then my top favorite decks so that will be on sunday i know this well i was a gamer before prior to um pandemic but my gaming style changed uh and i still again i still play world of warcraft and those other things but uh, my gaming style um changed in the pandemic for sure which is so interesting um to, so it is it's a very it this now that's the kind of thing i would leave on truth and story i do think it's interesting to think about how i knew because of my son's experience with gaming how important and how healing gaming can be now can it be excessive of course it can anybody can take anything and overuse it and use it as an escape from life and never you know get out of their game so it can be used in a in a way that's not healthy everything can food can you know everything can be used unhealthy but there are ways in which uh, I know from, again, my experience with my myself and my son um, and even my daughter and the way that we played games all together growing up, that it can be a really beautiful space for connection, a really beautiful space for um, de-stressing. De um, and, and what I found with the Switch in particular is it can be really talking about bigger issues of loss and coping that is quite is an interesting kind of um, juxtaposition of grief and recovery and gaming <laughs> and coping and gaming is an interesting, in my opinion, very interesting topic. I have actually written some essays on it, uh, not on World of Warcraft in specific, but it's, it's much more obvious than the switch in a way I've not noticed before. So... Okay, folks, uh, enough babbling, um, but that's kind of my plan. Again, if you're a person who, I'm going to leave this up here for a little while for those that like the gaming to see it, and then I'll, I'll uh, pop it up on the other channel. Um, but going into 2023, my goals are to uh, have a weekly walkthrough, have a tips and tricks uh, video, just a shorter video with just some random tips or tricks uh, regarding divination, and then um, have the stuff that's not uh, divinatory or or esoteric. Sometimes when it meets, uh, they'll, it'll be on here, but most of the that stuff I'll take off so it doesn't flood, flood for most people who aren't interested in this type of stuff. So that's kind of the the rough, the rough goals for 2023. Um, and again, as thanks, Mr. Gabe, um, reminded me, but then um, Sunday, there'll be a video. I'll go through all of, like I do every year, I'll go through all of the decks that I reviewed and say how that's true. We're not post pandemic. That is very, very true point neighborhood arts. And truthfully, I find the latter, I didn't struggle so much at the beginning part. I think that there are people who may be struggling more now for the length of things. Um, and there's people who still have the results of it. I still have the results of post COVID, you know, that, that are hanging on this long, right? It's not, it's not a, there's not an end to it as of yet. Very good point. Anyways, um, we'll be back to our regular scheduled tarot stuff uh, Sunday. Uh, again, a quick go through all the decks I reviewed, and then I will list my top favorite 
my favorite decks and then my most used decks because those aren't always they're kind of crossover but sometimes my most used have to do with my reading my professional readings whereas my favorites might be more you know just what i have loved so i'll, I'll those will be on there as well and um yeah that's what was coming for sunday Okay, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I've got work to do, and then I think I have I have work to do in D&D tonight. So my day is full, and uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. I don't know if you have New Year's Eve plans. I do not. I am lame. But um, so I may, be, I may be come online and do something live because um, I don't have any plans. But um, I hope that you have a wonderful um, rest of the weekend. And I will see you in 2023 for sure on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Talk to you all later.